Hello everybody, this is Robert Higgs from Barren Ridge Vineyards. We're doing our Sunday virtual tasting, which we call Live at Five, and we're up at our cabin today, which is behind us, and this is one of the locations on our property where we're using our extra space to get people to spread out, so we're kind of highlighting that today, and we'll be tasting Tremonet. We're about to switch vintages from 2018 to 2019, from a rainy year to a hotter year, and one of the rainiest years on record, 2018, and uh, a very hot and fairly dry year, 2019. And there's the cabin behind us. Uh, we have speakers up here so we can play our music. If we have some acoustic music, which generally we have on Saturdays, you can come enjoy the music here, even if the band is down at the winery and we also have some space by our pond and speakers down there too. So you can enjoy that in the future. And up here you have a nice view of the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Allegheny Mountains and the winery. And it's one of the highest spots here in the Shenandoah Valley, up at about 1,400 feet. So here's our Traminet 2018. I'm out here with Kirk Fox, who's filming these videos for us. There's no label on the 2019. And you see our old apple crate on the label, that's our symbol. And we have our apple crates uh, spread out here for people to uh, find space and be properly spread out to say, stay safe. So now we're gonna start our little tasting and thanks for joining us and wish you a beautiful week and a nice end of the week and a nice start to the new week. So hope you're all well. So we'll do our tasting now. Dreminet 2018, brilliant, clear in the glass. Uh, Dreminet's a bit of a, a heavier wine, uh, typically very aromatic, and has a profile similar, similar to Gewürztraminer. Uh, Gewürztraminer is one of the parents. Uh, Dreminet is a hybrid grape. Um, we've, of course, tasted it before. And it's named uh, not from the creator this time. Usually hybrids are named after the creator. This is named after the family of grape, which is the Treminer grape, which is where you get Gewürztraminer and also the name Treminet. So uh, we have Treminet 2018 in the glass. And typical fruit profile of Gewürztraminer and Treminet, uh, you get a really heavy floral uh, profile, uh, you get some kind of uh, heavy flowers, uh, honeysuckle, you get honey notes, you can get some nutty notes, and you of course get some fruit, and you can get everything from citrus to baked citrus to, uh, to different varieties of uh, exotic fruits, and we'll see what we get in this 2018 today. Also very spicy, uh, Gewürz means uh, spice in German. So you really taste, you know, you really um, smell uh, spices on the nose. It has a delicious nose. You get some exotic fruits too. Very clean, smells very good. And you do get some citrus. And we'll see what the difference is between these two vintages. Uh, but I get some nice white pepper on the nose. And really delicious, uh, fruity, and uh, really makes you want to take a sip. So we'll do that now. Mm, delicious wine. Good acidity balance out, balances out all the fruit. This is made dry. Um, for people that like uh, off dry wines, this wine can taste a little bit off dry, but we make it entirely dry. It's a little rounder and a little fruitier, a little more body than some of the other varietals that we grow here. But this wine tastes delicious. Uh, you, the, the aromas that you get on the nose translate into the glass. Um, so you have a nice uh, spicy profile, you get some white pepper, and you get some nutmeg, tastes very good. You get some nice fruit, uh, still vibrating on my tongue, so you have some nice length to this wine. And you get some, uh, some kind of um, 
some nice fresh uh, citrus notes, get some fresh lemon and also some baked lemon and a little bit of light um, notes of exotic fruits. You can smell a bit of pineapple and you get a little uh, fresh pineapple on the palate as well. So delicious, uh, I, would, I would surmise kind of a lighter uh, uh, Treminette than the 2019, but tastes very good and uh, tastes like Treminette. So we made a nice uh, Treminette in, uh, in a rainy year like 2018. Uh, where our wines were good even though we had tons of rain. So, tastes very good. So, hopefully you'll be enjoying at home. All right. I'm gonna move on to the 2019. Really no perceptible difference in the color. We're out here in the bright sunlight so it's hard to tell, but it looks beautiful and clear in the glass crystal clear. Uh, when you swirl it in the glass, you do see it's a bit heavier than, uh, than something like uh, Vidal Blanc or Riesling. Uh, it really moves differently in the glass. It has a little more viscosity to it. And ooh, uh, So, very different aromatic profile. Uh, immediately, uh, you smell really uh, much more profound nose than on the 2018. And the 2018 was excellent, uh, but th this is really has powerful aromas like you really get from a nice German Gewürztraminer. Really spicy, nice Gewürz, um, and nice fruit. Very, very floral. You get some nice rose petal, which you uh, can get in, uh, in Traminette and Gewürztraminer. And some very uh, kind of summer floral notes, um, very heavy perfumey type flowers, apple blossom, uh, acacia blossom, honeysuckle, uh, and you can anticipate some kind of sweet fruit notes in this wine, but it smells delicious. Perhaps very gourmet, uh, really smells good. So en enjoy. Uh, we really appreciate uh, you, you, everybody paying attention to our tastings and coming out and enjoying our music and enjoying the winery. So thank you so much for all your support during uh, the pandemic. Excuse me, something's chasing me here. Um, you've been very supportive uh, with joining our wine club and supporting the winery and supporting us and encouraging us. So we really appreciate all of your pat patronage and all of your help and all your support. So thank you for that. So cheers, let's taste this uh, Traminette 2019. Delicious nose. I can't even get by the nose because the nose smells so good. I could smell this for hours. This would clearly go very well with um, uh, different types of uh, ripe cheeses um, and different types of uh, grilled meats. Uh, and I didn't take any notes with me, so I'm kind of winging it today. I have to think about what kind of foods this compare with. Uh, but uh, anything on the grill. It's going to go very well with uh, spicy Asian food. The, the natural weight in this wine and the perceived sweetness will dampen uh, hot and spicy foods, Thai food, Indian food, things like that. And it'll bring forth the fruit flavors in the wine. So let's see what kind of fruit flavors uh, we find in this one. A little bit of nuttiness in the wine too. A little bit of uh, something like hazelnut. I'll start with the finish because it's a uh, present of mine. Very powerful finish. Very, very spicy. Uh, nice notes of, um, it's hard to say, uh, definitely white pepper, but much more profound than in the 2018. Uh, very different fruit profile. You get this really rich pineapple, like overripe pineapple in the central palate. And you get really ripe fruits, uh, like really ripe vineyard peach peach, uh, there's less citrus than in the 2018 and much more exotic fruits, uh, lychee and pineapple is what really stands out. And it's very, very long, uh, very concentrated in its fruits. You can really tell the difference in vintage. 
That's one thing that makes uh, Virginia very interesting is uh, how different the vintages are. You can always learn something about the varietal and it really marks, marks time and marks location by having such uh, different years. So you can think back to what happened in that year and remember what you were doing and remember how the wine tastes and might help you remember uh, what was going on in 2019. So 2019, we were already harvesting at this time and we're probably getting ready to harvest this week here at the uh, here at Barron Ridge. And the fruit's getting ripe, so it needs a little bit more time. So we're about two weeks behind where we were last year. Uh, but this is a delicious Traminette. Uh, it is really concentrated. Uh, much fuller in the mouth than the 2018 uh, so it's kind of a difference in freshness and acidity uh, this has a little bit less uh, perceived acidity or maybe actual acidity and a little more round fruitiness but really super delicious just to to sip like this uh, I would also try this with something like pecan pie sweeter things but this will go well with any of the spicy mood, uh, foods I've mentioned before uh, anything off the grill uh, a nice pork tenderloin and a spicy crust on the grill. This would be fantastic. And uh, very ripe cheeses, a plate of uh, dried fruits and nuts, things like that. Yeah, even charcuterie. Uh, so um, it's really something you should try. So come out and try it sometime. It's delicious wine. And I hope you find some time to come visit us and uh, follow along with our tastings and feel free to give us any feedback. Uh, it always helps us and we, we appreciate hearing from everybody. So thank you so much and we'll see you uh, in a week and uh, you all have a wonderful week and uh, be well. Cheers.